Good day again. This is Emperor Jackson bringing you another devotion today during this season of Lent. I want to return to the Old Testament, to the reading from the first book in the Bible, the book of Genesis, as I did on yesterday. Yesterday I read from Genesis, the second chapter. Today we'll read from Genesis, the third chapter, verse 19. This is God talking to Adam about all that he's done wrong and the punishment that he will endure. God says to Adam, by the sweat of your face you shall eat bread until you return to the ground, and out of it you were taken. You are dust, and to dust you shall return. Another emphasis on dust here. I believe that God is reminding us that sometimes we think that we are more than we are. Sometimes human beings, because we are so academically inclined and intellectual and capable of sending a spaceship to the moon, send robots to Mars to go under the sea, that we many times find ourselves thinking that we are in fact the creator. But God is reminding Adam that he has sinned, that he and Eve have sinned against God, and as a result, they will be punished, and they will have to work for their living. That Eve, when she has children, will have to bear them in pain, and Adam will have to toil the fields. That who was created from dust, and dust he shall return when he dies. I believe that God is reminding us during this time of Lent to be vigilant, to make sure that we do not listen to the devil, to try to remind ourselves that even when the devil whispers in our ears, we must turn a deaf ear to his guile and to all of his ways. God is calling us through Jesus, I believe, during this very present time through the reading of this scripture today from Genesis, the third chapter, that if we sin and fall short of God's glory, God may truly punish us. During this season of Lent, we are reminded again and again and again of human frailty and how we as human beings have failed God and how we have done wrong in the sight of God. Let us be vigilant during this time. On yesterday, I invited you to a time of fasting. Today, I invite you to a time of prayer. A time when we will remember in prayer that we can go to God and ask God for strength and encouragement so that when the devil comes, we will be able to resist him. I invite you to develop a time of prayer and at least once a day, once a day, to get on your knees or to have a time of silent reflection and time of prayer with God. And to ask God for strength and courage to resist all evil and all temptations. I would ask during this time of Lent that we would develop a time of prayer and a time of reconciliation with God. Will you join me during this season of Lent and each and every day Spend a little time with God in prayer. That is our call today, to be reminded that if God is on our side, we can overcome even the temptations of the devil. This I ask now in the name of the Father, Son, and through thy Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, and amen.